Good morning, day 123. This is where I slept last night and yesterday. I shared this bed with a rabbit so Frog could stay with us as she didn't have any more beds. And this was her largest. And Rabbit last night had to stay with a sponsor. She's doing something with a military on the trail here. So anyway, it's 5 o'clock and uh, getting ready to head out at 5.30 to do another slack pack. But some big miles today and some big climbs, so we'll see how it goes. Cool, we're at that big shop. Oh, look at these cookies. Wow. Look at that. Yum. Hey, Ben, bud. Good luck yourself. Remember those. Oh, yeah. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Doing great. Thank you. Morning, everybody. Climbing some fields to start the day today, day 120. Three, and up there's Rabbit, and then up there's Chewy. Papa Bear and Lightning are already in the wood line, wood cover. Anyway, it's a big mile day. I guess 22 to 24, I forget. But it's without packs, so it's supposed to be high of 80. That's in the town. So, up at elevation, I don't think it'll be 80, but you know, 50 is my hike in weather. So, we'll see how it goes. Buses run. Uh, Rutland buses run till 10 p.m. So obviously, I'll finish before 10 p.m. But I definitely will finish later than Papa Bear and Lightning. So we're fending for ourselves. The bus comes to the trailhead where we end today and can take you back down to Rutland where we're staying at Flupa Key's house. So, yeah. Fields are always hard to climb because they're deceiving. They don't look like a big hill, but they are. So, here it goes. Morning, day 123. I'm about hmm, six miles in, and it's a lot of climbing today. At least I have a slack pack, a light pack, and it's humid, and it's supposed to get warmer. And I'm still, it's gonna take me a long time today. Because 24 miles, yeesh, I get it. We want to get as many miles done as we can without a backpack. Because doing it with the backpack obviously would be worse. But I think it's going to take me 11 hours to do this day. Uh, and my body feels fatigued. Even though I'm not carrying full pack. We've been going and going since Bennington. I don't know how many miles that is so far. But up, 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 here we go. So listening to the Count of Monte Cristo, but my brain fades out now and then. I'm like, what did I miss? So I had to take it back and listen again. It's not the easiest read, these classics, but I want to give it a shot. And, uh, Slept a little better last night, but yeah, I don't know. We got like a day and a half, so tomorrow, a full day of hiking with our packs, I think, and then a short Nero into Hanover, I think, or maybe we'll just do a full day since we just had these slack packs, but I don't know if we'll take... Like now I heard him say, and I hold him to it. It's like every seven days, I like to check it, take a zero. And I was in the bathroom and I heard them talking about that out in the, I call it the, the hiker haven area. Ouch, something has bit me. Yeah, I gotta keep moving. Excuse is gonna get me. <laughs> anyway, I said, I heard that I'm gonna hold you to it. Every seven days to get a zero. Oh. <laughs> I 
and these these miles are hard and uh, sure would be nice to cut back the miles because they are difficult uh, but then we take longer to get done right so we'll see one step at a time at least i'm not as busy anymore i think i wasn't drinking enough those cooler days Yeah. All right, later. Here it goes, Chewy. <laughs> now play good Eddie's music. Yay. Whatever gets us there. Sweet. I got a couple of It's Rabbit's turn. Think we did 700 so far? I don't know. Oh, I hope. Awesome. Getting there. I'm guessing we have maybe six miles to go. Oh. It's nice without the packs for sure, guys. So I'm not trying to complain, but I'm not a big over 20 mile day person, especially with all the ups and downs. Mostly ups it felt like today, but uh, of course now the video has a nice flat boardwalk. It's a gorgeous boardwalk. Ton of work, ton of money. Definitely grateful. We're getting near a waterfall, so I'll video that too. Yep. All right, later. In at Long Trail. Is that what it's called? Hello, oh. fish and chips and agony. <laughs> Woo -hoo. So we're. Hit you with that one. There comes a time where you have to decide to move on. Once you've tried everything you know to do, have prayed earnestly about it, waited patiently for things to change, sought wise counsel, processed it, obsessively ruminated about it, wept about it, and even yelled in frustration about it, you'll have to get on with moving on. You can't do anything more about it because there's nothing more to be done. For now, it is what it is. It is difficult, but not impossible, to choose to get off that treadmill whatever aspect of life that may be, and start moving forward. It has to be intentional. It rarely happens otherwise. It may take a little time to get your bearings, find your feet, establish a new stride, and keep going. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, you will soar again, and you'll end up wondering what took you so long.